Good morning, modern steaders. Good morning. It seems really dark out. I was gonna say, it's pretty dreary outside this morning. The rawness in the air, like it's gonna snow, but there's no snow in the forecast. I guess we'll have to wait and see. It's really weird. It is a weird day. We're gonna be building our window frames for our off-grid container cabin here at the homestead today. We'll get everything prefabbed here and then we can bring it up and install it later on. Good morning, chickens. Good morning, Figaro. Oh, he wants to go right to the barn. He does not even stop to say good morning to me. Do you want to come see me? Oh, good morning. D-lined it right in here. Sheesh there, Figaro. Real nice, dude. Come on, ladies. We'll feed you over here. Good morning, Moose. Sheesh. That was one of those was even Moose. There you go, ladies. And moose. You see the chicken up on the other chicken coop? You testing that water out for him, Figaro? Buttercup's already out there. She's gonna eat it all on you. you better go get her. Your mom is down there, Ivy. Two ladies already finished your breakfast. Time for your second one. There goes Hope. yesterday that we ordered. Luckily we got a nice metal prefab shop in town that you can order your metal from. They keep it in stock and then they cut it right to length for you. So we don't gotta do any cutting. Well, as long as I got all of our measurements right, we won't have to do any cutting. I probably should have verified everything when I picked it up, but I didn't. Let's see. Here to here should be 37 and a half. So we gotta come up just a smidge on that side. Down here we should be 37 and a half. So yeah, we just bump these up just like that. And now let's check it for square. 53 and 5 eighths. This one is three and a quarter. That ain't square. <laughs> Bump this whole thing this way. Let's see if that did anything. 53 and a little over three eighths. Yeah. 
53 and 3 eighths. The more we can get done here in the homestead, the easier it'll be up at the off-grid property to just be able to put it all together. We won't have to mess around with this, trying to do it out in the snow or inside of the shipping container. I want to go ahead and tack everything together right now. And then once it's all tacked, we'll check it for square again and see how we are before we give it a good weld. Check everything before we weld it solid. Three and three eighths.
No judging my welds. I don't claim to be a professional welder by no means. But I'm hoping by the end of this project, we'll be better. That's all I can ask for. I've watched quite a few videos on making window frames. Some people use two inch square stock. Some people use wood. And then I saw this angle iron method and I thought for us, this is gonna work perfect. So this is the way we're gonna try it. We're doing the angle iron ones for the windows. We haven't cut the door out. I figured we get these in, weld it up, and get the wall side to get built, and we'll see how we like this setup, or if we want to change it when we go to do our door. But so far, it seems to be working well. All right, then to line the inside of our metal frames, we're going to be using PVC board. We're going to go 37 and a half. I need to put a little bit of a 45 degree bevel on the inside corners so we can get away from the weld we just welded on. Just like that so it'll, our weld won't get in our way when we're putting the boards in place. This window frame fits together nicely. Thirty-six. I'm gonna mark this window A, and I'm gonna mark all these boards with an A on them, so that way I know where they go. They're both the window frames should be the same, but they're probably not right on. So everything is cut nice to fit perfectly for this one. So I'm just gonna mark it all. A and then A. I'm going to put a one here, a one here, and I'll do a two, a two, three, three, A, 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 and then this will be four. And that's why we know that this window all goes together and what order it goes in. So we're not scratching our heads tomorrow trying to figure out how it goes back together. This one needs a little bit of grinding done to it. The other one did not. This is the first one we had welded. Now the white board's gonna be pushing through the other edge, so this edge will be flush with this edge, and then this part will be on the inside of the container. And this is what you're gonna see from the outside of the container. It'll make more sense tomorrow. So these right here are a new construction window. I like it because it's got the built-in J channel, but this nailing flange right here, we need to remove it and I cut it off with my grinder. And then we're gonna have to drill some holes to mount it this way. Let's get the grinder out and do some more grinding.
All right, now that we got all the custom work done, we gotta wait till tomorrow to go install them. I can see why shipping container builds take so long. It's a lot of custom work to them, a lot of prefab with wood, plastic, metal. A lot of work, guys. Time consuming, but it's gonna be worth it in the end. It's gonna make a nice off grid shipping container cabin. Yep, it's gonna last forever. I'm wondering what the second pond looks like right now up at I the know. property. Bet you it looks so different. Hard to wait and see. I know, we gotta be patient. Ooh, come on. Did you ladies lay us any eggs? You did yesterday, I got one from you. Can you keep it up? <laughs> well. It's in there somewhere. Why do you have a feather? <laughs> he likes chewing on them. He found one. <laughs> I see none. Wow. Was that a joke yesterday? Yesterday was just a tease. What the heck? There's probably one of my chickens. It was a green one, so um, either an Americana or... Yeah, one of mine. One of yours. Where, where are all your goats hiding? Oh, oh here they come. So. Stampede. They're all today. They all want their pets from you. Hey, we hear Olivia. <laughs> Ladies hungry? Five would be nice. And then come the summer, we're gonna be like, oh, 12. One, One two. two, they're slacking. I'll have to clean up their thing. Gonna make some meatballs tonight, a little bit different than I usually do. I have my two packages of a pork, and I'm gonna do two tablespoons of milk in here. Go won't turn your tide. We flow together like an old. Alright, so two every spoons. every high. And I would have you anyway. Anyway your heart can bear. And then two eggs. Even if you had to leave me, I'd always be with teaspoon of garlic powder clumpy and a teaspoon of onion powder one teaspoon of onion powder and one teaspoon of garlic powder so one and a half of salt we're gonna cut down a little bit on that Oop, oven ready I have the oven preheated at 400 I think this is the reason that I like to make sure I 
make enough to freeze because I do not enjoy putting my hands in ground meat, but I do enjoy eating it. And I, you could uh, put it probably in your KitchenAid. Sometimes it's just faster to do it with your hands. I did finally invest in some stainless steel cooking sheets that I've been wanting for a really long time. I might have gotten a bit, a bit extreme. I think it's large, but at least I should be able to get a lot on here. I'm not used to cooking with the stainless steel baking sheet, so hopefully everything cooks the way it should. and some cold water. And Dear Lord, thank you for a wonderful day. Well, I don't know if I'm looking forward more to getting the window frames installed or seeing what the pond looks like tomorrow. Oh, there's so much going on up, on up at the off-grid property. It's hard to miss a day up there, but you can't always get up there. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video to find out what it looks like for the first time with us. And we'll get these window frames installed. Can't wait, guys. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps. While you're down there, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.